Welcome guys to the 7th tutorial of PLC automation with select FlexiSail PLC. In this tutorial I will discuss the timer on delay functional block and uh, one application with timer on delay. The instructions for select PLCs are available in functional blocks and the timer on delay is one of the functional block of the select PLC. And in the timer on delay block we have four variables. One is the input variable. This input is a bool type of variable and it is required to turn on the timer. The next variable is PV which is a preset value of the time. We will set the required time in the PV variable. The next variable is CV which is current value of the time. So when timer starts is timing the CV will capture the current time of the timer. The ENO variable is enable output and we will get the output from this variable when the timer completes its time. And this is the format to set the time for the preset value of the timer. First we have to type T then hash then the required amount of time then S is for seconds. You can type MS for milliseconds. Create a new project for Flexis Rail series. Now on the left bottom corner you can see this edit wizard, click on it and it will provide the objects which you can use for the PLC and under these objects we have the functional blocks and this is the timer on delay. First I will place a NO contact then this timer on delay block. As I told you this N is the input to activate the timer. We have to set the required value of time. Double click on this PV, click on add variable. So this is the address for the variable which will keep the time for the preset value. Suppose I want to activate the output after 3 seconds. So type T then hash then 3 and S. So this is the format to assign the time value to a timer. Now we will assign a variable to CV which is the current value of the time. Double click on the CV and click on add variable. Now connect a coil to ENO pin of the timer. This is the enable output pin. I will use I0 input to activate the timer and I will use a memory address for the coil. Compile it and go for offline simulation. Now for initial condition the preset value is set for 3 seconds and you can see what is the current value. It is 0 seconds because the timer is off that's why the current value is set to 0. To turn on the timer we have to provide the input from this contact to the in pin of the timer. Double click on this contact to start the timer and when timer is active it will start counting the time and whenever the preset value is equal to current value it will activate its output which is ENO and we are connecting a memory bit which is MX0 to the ENO pin and it is activated after a preset time. Now if you release the input it will turn off the coil and also it will reset the current value of the timer to 0. So next time when you again provide the input the timer will start from 0 and it will count up to the preset value and when preset value is equal to current value then it will activate the output. Now with a little modification I create this logic after the timer logic. I am using MX0 memory bit for the output of the timer. I assign the same address to this contact. And with the help of this contact I am activating one physical output you can see what is the address it is starting with QX and then I assign this coil address to this contact to create a hold on. For the initial condition timer is off this memory bit is off and this physical output is off. When I activate the timer by pressing this input it will first start counting up to the preset value. Now if the MX0 is active it will activate this contact and if this contact is active it will activate the coil and if the coil is active it will activate this contact. Now if I release the input you can see the status of this coil is off, the status of this contact is open and because of this parallel path this coil is active. So in this way this is the simple solution for our application where we want to turn on an output or a load after a specific time. You can practice with some of the other examples and you can use multiple timers for your logic. So thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe the channel.